pneumothorax is defined as you know blood within the pleural space and with uh, hematocrit of more than 50% of the circulating levels to distinguish from the bloody pleural effusion it can be classified into uh, mild moderate or massive hemothorax and massive hemothorax is one which is more than 1500 mLs of blood within the pleural space hemothorax can cause a secondary collapse of the ipsilateral lung or and can also cause hemodynamic compromise it can be caused by a blunt or penetrating injuries to the chest wall or to the lungs which could lead to refracture lung parenchymal injury damage to the hyoid structures and great vessels in the lung or the mediastinum injury to the adjacent area such as abdomen neck and axilla liver lacerations diaphragmatic injury and after uh, central line placement so that is iatrogenic especially after the subclavian approach and after thoracic or cardiac surgery it can be associated with uh, malignancy vascular malformation and spontaneous bleeding from the vascularized adhesion or in the presence of coagulopathy it can happen after aortic dissection rupture or transection and endometriosis in females can also give rise to hemothorax blood in the pleural space is uh, agitated by the intrathoracic movement of the lungs and diaphragm resulting in inactivation of the extrinsic clotting cascade and formation of intrapleural clots as the clots organizes it forms a fibrin mesh that adheres to the pleural lining limiting its dynamic properties and ultimately leading to the trapped lung over the course of one week this fibrin mesh develops from the thin membrane to a thick fibrous adhesion which could be vascularized later it is de- therefore important that the clotted material in the pleural space is drained or removed to reduce the risk of developing restrictive lung pathology the residual clots within the pleural cavity may also become infected resulting in the impyema formation patient can present with shortness of breath chest pain and symptoms depends on the volume of blood loss and hemodynamic response symptoms are associated with etiology such as concomitant in- injuries in trauma patients signs include uh, decreased chest expansion dullness to percussion and decreased breath sound X-ray is important in the diagnosis of a hemothorax and signs are similar to that of pleural effusion and and history and correlation uh, with the patient's examination finding gives more suspicion of hemothorax rather than pleural effusion. It is uh, it requires approximately 500 uh, ml of fluid to obliterate the costophrenic angles. Smaller volumes less than 250 ml cannot be identified easily. Ultrasound can also be used for the diagnosis and aspiration of hemothorax as a free fluid in the trauma settings we can do the fast ultrasound scan and aspirate the fluid CD can also be used to diagnose uh, hemothorax free fluid collection within the pleural cavity blood usually has attenuation of 35 ounce field unit and loculation and clotted blood can be identified uh, by means of ct scan uh, and uh, the role is uh, significant if you want to identify the small volume of hemothorax exact location in the lung and presence of loculation and if there is high flow bleeding sources which can be visualized and associated nearby injuries so one can uh, plan for the l- uh, surgery in advance the principles of management uh, include a small hemothorax uh, with no respiratory or cardiovascular compromise can be treated with observation only reassessment and severe radiology for the patient with respiratory symptoms hemodynamic compromise a change in hemoglobin level the presence of costophrenic blunting or chest x-ray 
and the chest vein insertion is required to assess the degree of the blood loss and reduce the risk of retained hemothorax, fibrothorax or impenema. In the vast majority of the patient, the bleeding has already stopped at the time of presentation and a tube thoracostomy is all that is required. As the hemothorax may lead to considerable blood loss, it is important to transfuse blood products as appropriate. If administered within the three hours of trauma, tranexamic acid may be beneficial. Even though there have been no randomized controlled trial to demonstrate the efficacy, intrapural fibrinolytic agents have been used for the patient with residual located hemothorax locally and should be used within 7 to 10 days of the development of hemothorax, especially in the patient deemed to have too high risk of surgical intervention. If the initial chest tube does not remove the collection of blood displacement, the then the uh, patient is an ideal candidate for the PATS operation. So before the chest chain insertion, we need to uh, see the coagulation studies, INR, APTT, and other uh, relevant investigation platelet count. The chest drain is, is insertion in the safe triangle um, on the right or left side as required. So the safe triangle is bounded by anterior border of vitismus dorsi, lateral border of pectoralis major, horizontal line from the level of nipple and horizontal line at the inferior aspect of axilla. Any placement below this level risks to the damage of intra-abdominal organs, especially in emergency settings, diaphragm may be elevated. If there is inadequate drainage with the chest drain, the drain should be checked for malposition and blockage. Another drain may be required. The drain uh, should be guided uh, to sit at the base of the pleural cavity to drain the hemothorax. There is some evidence that uh, use of antibiotics is helpful. After the drain insertion, one has to do the chest x-ray to see the uh, chest drain position, complete list of evacuation and to see any injury previously obscured by the blood. The chest drain can be removed when the drainage is less than 100 ml in 24 hours, the lung is fully expanded and no significant air leak is present. Complications which can happen are the retained hemothorax, impyema, wound infection, bleeding, intercostal uh, pain, and lung parenchymal injury. The retained hemothorax is, um, is one which happens after the surgery or after retained hemothorax and is defined as residual volume of more than half a liter of blood or occupying one third of the hemothorax volume or fluid which is not drained for more than 72 hours. The early diagnosis and expedition of intervention are important to avoid the complications of retained hemothorax, including the fibrothorax which may lead to entrapped lung impyema, which has associated mortality of appropriate 10% and a retained hemothorax is treated with further thoracostomy or uh, VATS evacuation if required. Thank you.